Hey guys, so I am joined by Pavlo Kordiaka, the 2021 OSG world champion, just recently came fourth at Europe's Strongest Man. How's things, buddy? I know it's a very, very difficult time right now for you in Ukraine. Uh, thank you very, very much for coming to talk to us. How are things with you currently? Hey, Lars. <clears throat> yeah, it's a very difficult time for us because uh, war started in my country and uh, everything has changed. Uh, my preparation was broken, broke break, hell break for two weeks. Uh, I can't work in with my coach uh, till till now, and uh, I prepared to roll this man alone. For yeah, it must be it must be very difficult right now with training. I mean, you said you weren't able to train at all or see your coach. What's uh, a typical day like at the moment? Typical day in my city now is. It's calm than in Kharkiv or in Mariupol. We have few air alarm and just that. So our air defense working well. So we didn't have explosives maybe two weeks in my in my city. Yeah. So it's a little bit calmer at the moment. Yeah. Calm, that's yeah. that's no, good. Calm. I mean, yourself and um, Alexi came over to Europe just a few weeks ago. And yeah. neither of you were able to train properly for that show, but you both performed exceptionally well. You guys have the heart of, you know, true champions and true warriors. And it was amazing watching the crowd react to, to both of you. They, they were so supportive. How was that to come out of the, the situation that you're in currently, come over to the UK and, and get that kind of support? Uh, we get contact with our ministry and uh, request a permission to leave the grain uh, from, from we can uh, all mail from 18 to 61 can't leave Ukraine without permission. So okay. we get we get the permission driving to Krakow, Poland. Uh, from Krakow, we're flying to Leeds. Uh, it's very difficult because we try riding maybe six or seven seven hours, sleep maybe two hours, and flying to Leeds. Yeah. It's very it was very difficult. Yeah, and. Uh, we can't uh, we can train regular at normal like it was um, before the war so in, my, in a city was working on the one gym and uh, that was uh, there there was very cold <laughs> at the time yeah yeah was it i guess was it nice to to be able to to get out of the ukraine for, out of ukraine for a little while um, and just compete? Did it make you feel like things were a bit normal again, or was it hard knowing your family are back home and, and weren't with you? It, it was amazing that we can uh, travel to UK in that, that difficult time. Uh, I really, really can't believe uh, that was true. Uh, but when you're in UK, feeling you're in safe, but your family is staying in Ukraine, it's uh, very, very difficult to sleep, to um, think something uh, about not the war, not the family stay here. And when air, air alarm started in my city, uh, I was always in phone with, in my hand and texting to my family. Yeah, it must have been so hard. Yeah, mentally it's so hard. Yeah. Are you, when you go to World's Strongest Man, is any of your family able to come or is it just athletes that can go mm. right now? My wife uh, had an in interview for Visa UK and USA in, in May and uh, for, from, for UK it was it March, but we can't now because embassy doesn't work. Okay. That's, that's, that's obviously very sad. But Hopefully she'll be able to come to, to future World Strongest Man contests with you. Um, yeah, are you so. back, uh, yeah, definitely. Are you back training now? For, are you able to train properly or, or is it still restricted? Yeah, I did the training uh, after Europe's Strongest Man. Uh, one training, it was loading. And today I had one training, it was overhead session. Uh, I did a uh, log press, one uh, H3 for seven reps, two sets. One eighty-three for seven reps. One fifty-three. 
no, no, I, I was, I was impressed. I'm still impressed. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, um, I did uh, behind the next the jerk. Yeah, one seventy, two reps, two sets. Cool. Yeah, are, are you excited about going to Worlds? Obviously, it's your first World Strongest Man. Uh, everyone around the world, for it's Strongman. This is the biggest show. I, I appreciate. You know you're, you're you're torn at the moment, but are you are you looking forward to showing the world what Pavlo Kordiaka can do against the absolute best? Yeah, it's uh, think what very motivated me. I working so hard, and thinking about that, uh, it, it helped me to uh, change my mind um, because when uh, when I was uh, when I were in home, you thinking about the war. Yeah. When I go to the gym, I concentrate about my, my training. And you can work on spending that distraction and focus yeah. on something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I focus on my goal. Yeah. But it's only two or three hours per day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I was looking, for, yeah, I probably first heard of you a few years ago. It was um, Dale McPherson, actually. He told me, you know, you got to watch this guy. And obviously, you won Ukraine's Strongest Man in 2020. Yeah. And for people that don't know, that was the same year that Alexei Novikov won World Strongest Man. And it was Pavel, three, weeks three weeks before World Strongest yeah, Man. Three weeks before that World Strongest Man, you beat him. So you've proven you're a serious threat and a, and a high level competitor. You won OSG last year, which is that's the biggest amateur show there is. Yeah. And, you know, if you can win that show, you're ready to compete at the Giants live shows and against the best in the world, which you proved a couple of weeks ago at Europe. You came fourth in your first ever Giants live. You were second in the Middle East strongest man. So you've had some really big performances and you're a great all round athlete, you know, watching you, there's no big glaring weaknesses. You move really well. Your overhead is strong. You're, you're very athletic. Uh, what do you think's been the secret to your progress over the last few years? Uh, I think it's a uh, secret. It's I'm, I'm training like an athlete, not like power lifter or uh, weight lifter, like athlete. I'm jumping, running, lifting, throwing, all of this swimming. Yeah, yeah. You think sometimes um, some people they they look at strongman and just think you just need to be strong. They don't look at it as a sport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you was in OSG. Um, you saw how how was my speed in um, drag and carry. Yeah, yeah, I'm running quite very well. I, I think yeah, both yourself and Alexia are both very good athletes. You yeah. can see that. Maybe not statically the strongest at everything, but strong enough, and and you, you're fast, you're dynamic, you can throw, you can be quick, and that's what strongman's all about. I have one one uh, weakness event. It's my deadlift because I I had uh, two <coughs> injuries, uh, two lower back injuries. Uh, one, one last last one was. Uh, to 21. Uh, I started lifting maybe three months before OSG. Uh, I had COVID and had uh, after COVID had some infection in my lower lower back, in my spinal cord. So I can't uh, move, sit, laying in normal without pain, without pain. And uh, no one painkillers can help me. Can help me. <laughs> How is I, it now? No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I, I, I find a very good doctor, and he will help me. Cool. Um, you say your, your deadlift's not good. What's your best deadlift? My best deadlift was uh, uh, three seventy. Yeah. At the, yeah, it, it was it easy, but uh, I think I had maybe ten on fifty kilogram uh, plus. No, no, no. My goal this year it's uh, at minimum four hundred. <laughs> Yeah, that's everyone's in strongman now. They they want to be pulling four hundred. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a <coughs> deadline deadline for me. <laughs> it's it's crazy because I remember watching before I got into high level strongman. I remember watching Zadrunas Zaviskas win a deadlift contest in a strongman super series. It was in Sweden, and he won with three hundred and sixty kilos. Yeah, and now you see. If you don't pull four hundred, you're coming near the bottom of a of a deadlift competition. It's yeah, a lot, lot of people think uh, if you want to be a Wolfgang's man, you must be the best deadlifter. It's it's not correct. Yeah, 
well, one of your countrymen, one world's strongest man and wasn't the best deadlifter, Vasil Verastiuk. Yeah. Is, is he someone that sort of inspired you to get into strongman? Uh, yeah, I, I watched it to, to Vasil when I was a uh, child. Yeah. It was two, 204. Yeah, 2004. Yeah, he 2004, yeah. yeah. I was then maybe nine, nine year old. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. scary. In my country, it was a very popular TV show. Very popular. Yeah. Now, uh, it's uh, now it's not not popular popular like that. Is is not as popular. I, I remember. Oh. I've I've been lucky enough to come over to Ukraine a number of times, and the fans there are brilliant. They really love strongman and the strongman sport. Always very supportive. So I, I really hope we get to see more international competitions back. In the near future, I, I hope it, it happens because I know your countrymen absolutely love the sport. Yeah, yeah, we have we have uh, many great athletes, um, but you need to grow a little bit. Yeah, and maybe three or four year you know, we will see a new name from Ukraine. I hope maybe so. your name is going to go on the world's strongest man trophy. I, I work in very hard for that. <laughs> Good man. Well, you're only you're only 26. Yeah, 26. You're 26 years old. You're still very young man, uh, in, improving all the time. With all my guests on here, I try and uh, find out what got them into strongman and, and kind of how they progressed. So, when did you first enter a, a, a gym? How old were you then? When uh, I my first time was, um, I was 18, 18 year old. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I was maybe 75 kilograms. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was tall, but uh, skinny. <laughs> <laughs> and then you found Strongman and started eating. Yeah, I started training with Voldemar Raksha. It's, uh, he was second to time, second, second in uh, amateur Arnold, one of five category. And the time he was second, uh, was in his mind, one of five. Yeah. Uh, he is my uh, good friend and uh, uh, gym owner, where I attend. Cool. Yeah. So I watched it, how he trained. And then I think I want to try. I was very skinny, but my body weight uh, growing very fast. Yeah. You're, you're a very tall athlete. You've got a good frame. You can still probably put on a little more size if yeah, needed yeah. to, as long as you can stay athletic with it. I mean, I think you told I worked, me. I worked on that too. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You're about 135 kilos? 75 kilos. No, now, I mean. Ah, now? Um, now my body weight is maybe 136. Okay. It's, it's still light at the top level of strongman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you've definitely got room to improve. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of the strongmen now are monsters, but yourself, um, Alexei, and others are showing you don't have to be super yeah. large. You can still be competitive, still be world class. The, the goal is be good, not necessarily be big. Maxime Boudreau, uh also light lightweight athlete so but he he was third yeah or second yeah he was third last year yeah, yeah. you don't you don't need to wait 200 no it's not it's not healthy no it's definitely not <laughs> i've never been 200 but i i can definitely i've been heavy and uh, you know even now i still You've feel too heavy. 160 yeah, he was <laughs> my competitive weight was around 160 i've been as heavy as 170 which was terrible <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think my my best best weight maybe one fifty five for strongman with my with my height. Yeah, I think at your height you it, could carry on still yeah. be athletic and probably just give you that little bit more power. But it takes time, and this is something I've you know I've been talking a, a lot about recently. You find a lot of people try and rush it and, and get too big too quickly. It, it takes time. I mean, you've been training hard now for eight nine years, and you, you, you're bursting onto the scene. Some people expect it in one or two years, and it just doesn't work like that. Yeah, but some some, some people uh, have a very big opportunity, like Paolo Konechny. 
you know he he he's very um, he had very good opportunities from nature yeah he's growing very fast he's very strong but <laughs> you know what he did yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he, you've got some talented guys in Ukraine. There's yeah, some yeah, strong guys. Yeah, um, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of them you didn't watch now. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, are, are there guys that you you know that you've trained with that could compete at the highest level? Yeah, my my best friend uh, well, from one of five category. He's very very good yoga runner. Yeah, he, he, he runs with uh, for 550 kilograms. Nice. Yeah, yeah. He's he's fast. Yeah, fast, and, and he runs very fast. Cool. Uh, he he can compete with Alexi on York. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I mean, yes. Every time I've been over, you've always had talented athletes, and it's good to see there's still more coming through. I want to know what the goals are for you. Obviously, world's strongest man is next. What's the realistic goal this year for you going to Worlds? I'm realist, so my goal is at minimum uh, get 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 the final, and then um, get uh, as as possible higher. Sure. In the rank, yeah. Yeah. Do you? Um, they haven't officially been announced, but I know all the athletes know the events. You happy with the events this year? I don't care about events. Uh, I will prepare for all events. So. I love that answer. That's that's yeah. a great. I don't. Uh, I don't have my low event. I love all event. Yeah. Uh, deadlift is my weakness event, but I like deadlift very. I'm, I like deadlift. Yeah. It's, it's my low event, but it's my weak event. I think if you're going to do strongman, you need to accept that you need a good deadlift. Like you need to be good at atom stones. It's just part of the sport. It's yeah. not something you can really avoid. So <laughs> it's stones. Uh, stones is key event. Yeah. So if you not good in stone, it may be, may cost you first place. Yeah. So what's training going to look like now? What have we got? Six weeks till Worlds. What's your training uh, going to look like leading up to that? Uh, I create a general training plan and working to to event for World Swingers Man. And uh, for now, I can say first training going very well. Yeah. Good. I, I feel strong. I feel motivation. I'm trying to eat good. Mm, have some problem with sleep, <laughs> but I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> fix it. I, I think everyone watching this will just admire what you're doing because the stress that you must be going through with everything going on right now, it, it must be tremendously hard. But having the competition to, to focus on, it, it must help a little bit. Yeah, it helped. It helped help to focus uh, on my training and not the war, because it's a very important competition for me. I can say uh, all my strongman career, it was my dream to yeah. get the World Strongman Invitational. So I am very happy to do that. Yeah, I'm re really happy, and I try to to show my best performance. Cool. Yeah. I want to ask you, and you know, if it's a secret, that's fine. But just for people watching, they'll be interested. What's a, a what's a typical training week look like? How many times a week are you training right now? What are you doing in those training sessions to to focus on world's strongest man? Uh, I have um, at minimum five training session uh, in the gym, and uh, I, I'm trying to go into pool, swim. It's uh, uh, it's helping me to load my mind. Yeah. I have dog. I walking in forest with my dog. Yeah, yeah I have a PC five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't play maybe two or three weeks because I, I uh, didn't have enough time for this. For this. Yeah. But uh, I like riding. I have a good SUV, so <laughs> sometimes I'm riding. So you keep him. You, you keep him busy. It's yeah. You, five times in the gym. You're going on the bike. You're going for walks with the dog. You're, you're very active. That's clear. But you like to yeah, yeah. chill and, and play some games sometimes, <laughs> just to relax. I, I always was uh, very active. So yeah. 
I training uh, since when I was six years old. Okay, you've yeah, always was, been active in sports. Yeah. It was football, acrobatic, wrestling, boxing, MMA. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing how many athletes have been good at other sports before yeah. they come into to like strongman or, or whatever they end up doing. I think just being naturally athletic helps you cross over to different sports. Yeah, um, my experience uh, in my sport career um, when I was young <laughs> helped me now. It does. It, it makes you competitive and you understand, you know, about competition. I think sometimes when people have never competed in a sport, they can be exceptionally strong, but pressure can get to them. Whereas if you're used to competing, it, it certainly helps. Yeah, athletes must be not only strong physically, but mentally too. Mm. Well, I think you've definitely pro proven that. I mean, fourth place at Europe's was, was incredible. And yeah, I was a little bit sad for that. <laughs> I'm sure you were, but I think sometimes you've got to give yourself a little pat on the back because for anyone else, <laughs> you know, a lot of people wouldn't have even tried to get here. You know, you you, you kind of made it and you put a, put on a performance and, and now you can really show your absolute best leading up to World's Strongest Man. It's I, I know, I mean, for people watching, Pavlo didn't train at all for Europe's Strongest Man. You know, maybe one session or two sessions, but... That's not a training cycle. That's not <laughs> getting yourself to peak it, for. It, it's it's not no not excuses for me, but yeah, it's a little bit difficult for me and Alexi. Well, let's go back to OSG because OSG in November in Florida, that was a competition you trained for. There were some great athletes there, and you came out the winner. And a lot of the people that have won that show have gone on to do big things. So, how how was that show for you? Um. I feel like, um, okay on this show. Uh, it's there was good event for me, um, not, not deadlift, but at all it was good for me. Uh, I like the, back. The deadlift, the deadlift there was the same as it's going to be at World's Strongest Man, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is the the deadlift medley? Yeah. So you I don't know, I, I don't know uh, what will it in World's Strongest Man, but uh, I think it was the same. It was the same. Yeah. Yeah, deadlift. Uh, uh, I do deadlift uh, in my in my time. I just just want to lift three fifteen and uh, and finish. Yeah, I know yeah. It, it's my goal for deadlift. Did it, if I remember rightly, didn't you have a wrist injury as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe ten days before OSG, uh, I torn my ligament with piece of bone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And my calling to my doctor, uh, talk talk with him. Uh, he said to me, "Okay, uh, get get car and ride to, ride, ride to me." Uh, I say, "I can't. I have five <laughs> two, two weeks after." Yeah. <laughs> he said, "What what I need to do?" At and I feel comfortable as it possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel some pain in stones and uh, on log lift. Okay. Yeah, both uh, and, good events for you. What I said, both good events for you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I was not good in stones, but I finished second. Uh, I think stones won, uh, Wesley Claiborne. Yeah, he's a very I, good. I, I watched his training and <coughs> he was very impressed. Yeah, he he lived in stones, uh, in one, one move, mm. one motion. Yeah. Yeah, so he looked very strong. But it comes down to all-round ability to, yeah, to win yeah. shows, and you did that. You were excellent on the... the problem for, for static athletes when competing going three days. Because it's a long some, competition, OSG. There's there's a, you yeah, know, a yeah, lot yeah. of athletes, a lot of events. It's, it's very difficult, uh, first of all, mentally. Yeah. And then some physical process in our body. I think for a lot of the guys that do OSG, though, that's really good prep for World's Strongest Man, which is a competition over a multiple, over like four or five days. Um, it's very different to doing a one-day show. So it's having better. that experience is useful. It's better for me because I'm a very stability mental, yeah. mentally, first of all. And uh, a lot of athletes um, broke. 
very worried about. I think I will, will be worried too because it's my first uh, World's Longest Man, <laughs> but uh, everything will be okay. I think you will. You've got a great head on your shoulders, and you know you've you've proven you keep getting better. And I think you'll be able to go to Worlds this year and just enjoy it. It's yeah. And uh, I want to say I have big support from my family, from my country, uh, our people. Uh, many people just came to me and celebrating. Congratulations! It was a good performance. Yeah. It was. Um, I'm very glad for that. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm really pleased. You know, I. I know so many fans are, are kind of you know supporting you, supporting Alexei as well. You know, the whole of Ukraine going through yeah. terrible, of- terrible things right now. But to see athletes like yourself still fighting, you know, showing what people from Ukraine can do, you, you're absolute warriors, and you have all the support from from myself and you know every everyone in the UK supports you guys. It's- yeah, I feel that a lot of people from UK texting me, um, talk to me, and uh, say some supporting words. Uh, um, also, Dale McPherson, you know. Yeah, he's my good, he's my good friend. He gave me a lot of support, and uh, and uh, Colin Bryce talking to me. So thank you guys. Well, we all want to see you do well from you, you and from, from your wife. Yeah. <laughs> she she she's definitely got a soft spot for you. <laughs> she's a pretty good person. <laughs> thank you. No, we we really wish you the best, and we look forward to seeing how you do it. Well, just stay safe. Keep training hard, and everyone go support Pavlo. He's going to have, you know, he's going to do well this year. But he's going to have an amazing career. Still a very young man, getting better all the time. Where can people follow you on Instagram? I know you're on there. What's your your tag for Instagram? Pavlo Kordiaka. So nice and easy, Pavlo Kordiaka. We will make sure there is a, a link in the description. Thank you so much for coming and talking to me, Thank buddy. You. And we'll, we'll catch you soon. Glad to see you. Take care. You too. Thank you. Thanks, man.